Ever wondered why bagging is a critical technique in machine learning? To answer that, let's delve into its importance and relevance in the field. Bagging, short for bootstrap aggregating, is a powerful tool in the machine learning toolbox. It's like a secret ingredient that can take a good model and make it great. Why so? Well, bagging helps us tackle one of the most common challenges in machine learning, overfitting. This occurs when a model learns the training data too well, to the point where it struggles with new, unseen data. Bagging helps smooth out these overfitting issues by creating multiple subsets of the original data and running them through the model. This way, the model gets to learn from different perspectives, improving its ability to generalize and hence its overall accuracy. Without bagging, we would struggle with overfitting and our machine learning models would lack the accuracy they need. Now you might be asking, what exactly is bagging? Well, let's peel back the layers of this intriguing concept. Bagging, which is short for bootstrap aggregating, is a powerful technique used in machine learning. The central idea is quite simple, yet incredibly effective. Imagine you're trying to make a decision, but instead of relying on one source of information, you gather insights from multiple sources, each offering a slightly different perspective. You then consider all these perspectives to make a more informed and well-rounded decision. That's essentially what bagging does. In the context of machine learning, bagging involves training the same algorithm, not just once, but multiple times. But there's a twist. Each time the algorithm is trained, it's done so on a different subset of the training data. And these subsets, they're drawn randomly with replacement from the original data set, much like pulling numbers for a lottery draw, but with the possibility of drawing the same number more than once. But why go through all this bother? Well, the answer lies in the magic of averages. Once all these different versions of the algorithm have been trained, the final model isn't just picked from one of them. Instead, their results are averaged to produce the final output. This way, we're not just relying on one model's predictions, but we're considering the collective wisdom of multiple models. This process significantly reduces the variance in our predictions. It's like getting second, third and fourth opinions before making a critical decision. The result? a more reliable, robust model that's less prone to overfitting and performs well with unseen data. And here's the beauty of bagging. Even though it leverages the power of multiple models, it's not more complex than a single model. In fact, each individual model is quite simple. It's the aggregation of these simple models that gives bagging its strength. So, in essence, bagging is about diversity. It's about training our algorithm on different bags of data to get a more accurate and robust model. OK, so we know what bagging is, but how does it work? Well, let's break it down. The bagging process is an ensemble technique which creates multiple subsets from the original data, trains a model on each, and then combines their predictions. Imagine you're at a party and there's a jar of jelly beans. Everyone at the party is asked to guess the number of jelly beans in the jar. Bagging is like taking the average of all those guesses. No one person is likely to guess the exact number, but the average of all the guesses is usually surprisingly accurate. The first step in bagging is to create these subsets. We do this by employing a method known as bootstrap sampling. This is where we randomly select data points from our original data set with replacement. The with replacement part means that a single data point can be selected more than once. Next, we train a model on each of these subsets. This is done independently, and each model doesn't know anything about the others. It's like each person at the party making their guess about the jelly beans without consulting anyone else. Now, each of these models makes its own prediction. Some might be spot on, some might be way off, but just like the party goers' guesses, there's value in the collective. The final step is to combine these predictions. In a classification problem, this is typically done by voting. Each model gets a vote, and the class with the most votes is the final prediction. In a regression problem, we might take the average of all the predictions. This process helps to reduce variance and improve the stability of our predictions. It's like having a team of experts, each making their own independent judgment and then pooling their expertise for a final decision. 
And that, in a nutshell, is how bagging works. It's a simple yet powerful technique. So next time you're at a party and someone brings out a jar of jelly beans, remember bagging and you'll have a pretty good shot at making an accurate guess. But why does bagging matter? What makes it so powerful? You may ask. Well, the power of bagging lies in its ability to harness the collective strength of multiple models to create a more accurate and robust prediction. It's like the old saying, two heads are better than one, but in this case, we're talking about hundreds or even thousands of heads or models. Bagging or bootstrap aggregating is a powerful tool in the machine learning toolbox that provides several key benefits. First and foremost, bagging reduces variance. Variance, in the context of machine learning, is a measure of how much the predictions of our model would change if we trained it on different subsets of our data. High variance can lead to overfitting, where the model performs well on the training data but poorly on unseen data. Bagging mitigates this by averaging the predictions of many models, each trained on a different bootstrap sample of the data. This process smooths out the predictions, reducing variance and improving stability of the model. Another key benefit of bagging is its ability to prevent overfitting. Overfitting is a common pitfall in machine learning, where the model learns the training data too well, to the point where it starts to learn the noise and outliers in the data. This can result in a model that performs poorly on new, unseen data. By training multiple models on different subsets of the data and then aggregating their predictions, bagging effectively smooths out the idiosyncrasies of any one model, preventing overfitting and creating a model that generalizes well to new data. Lastly, bagging can significantly improve the accuracy of a model. By leveraging the wisdom of the crowd, bagging allows us to make more accurate predictions than any single model could achieve on its own. Each individual model makes its own unique set of errors, but when we aggregate their predictions, these errors tend to cancel each other out, leading to a more accurate overall prediction. In other words, bagging helps us create models that are not only more accurate, but also more reliable. So how do we use bagging in practice? Well, let's take a brief journey into the world of machine learning, where bagging is often a powerful tool in our arsenal. Consider random forests, a popular machine learning algorithm. They employ bagging in a rather ingenious way. You see, a random forest is like a team of decision trees, and each tree is trained on a different subset of the data. This subset is created using bagging, where we take random samples from our original dataset with replacement. This means that each decision tree gets a slightly different perspective on the data reducing overfitting and improving the overall performance of the model. Now let's talk about extra trees. This algorithm is a close cousin of random forest, but with a twist. Extra trees also use bagging, but they take it a step further by introducing more randomness. Instead of looking for the best split point in the data, as in a regular decision tree, extra trees randomly choose the split points. This additional randomness can sometimes lead to better performance, especially when dealing with noisy data. But bagging isn't limited to tree-based models. It can be applied to any machine learning algorithm, making it a versatile tool to have in your toolbox. For example, you can use bagging with logistic regression, support vector machines, or even neural networks. The key idea remains the same. Create multiple versions of your model, each trained on a different subset of the data, and then combine their predictions. This process can help reduce variance, prevent overfitting, and improve the robustness of your models. So, whether you're working on a complex regression task or a simple classification problem, bagging has a role to play. It's a technique that's both practical and powerful, and one that can help you unlock new levels of performance in your machine learning projects. Before we wrap up, let's quickly recap what we've learned about bagging. We began by understanding the centrality of bagging in machine learning, shedding light on its crucial role in creating robust predictive models. It was highlighted that bagging, which stands for bootstrap aggregating, is not just a fancy term, but a powerful technique that data scientists use to enhance the accuracy of their models. We then unveiled the concept of bagging, diving deep into its nitty gritty. In simple terms, bagging is a method of generating multiple subsets of the original data, training a model on each, 
and then combining their predictions. The key idea is to leverage the power of collective wisdom to make more accurate and stable predictions. Next, we walked you through the bagging process step by step. We learned that it begins with random sampling of the data followed by model training on each sample. The final prediction is then made by averaging the predictions from all models in the case of regression or by majority voting in the case of classification. We also discussed the power of bagging, illuminating its benefits. Bagging is particularly effective in reducing variance, preventing overfitting and improving the stability of machine learning algorithms. It's like having a team of experts instead of relying on a single opinion, thereby enhancing the overall decision-making process. Finally, we saw bagging in action, reflecting on its practical applications. Bagging is used in a variety of machine learning algorithms, including random forests and extra trees, which are known for their high performance in many tasks. Remember, bagging is a powerful tool in your machine learning toolbox. Use it wisely and it can significantly improve your model's performance.